Welcome back to Day 28 of the 31 Days of Horror series, and today we're digging into a wild, blood-soaked hidden gem from the 1980s, 1985's Demons. Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? 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 I have exercised the demons. If you haven't seen this one, you're missing out on a pure, chaotic horror experience that is as ridiculous as it is awesome. Directed by Liberto Baba and produced by the one and only Dario Argento. This movie is like a nightmare roller coaster you can't get off, and honestly, you won't want to. So, what's the setup? It's pretty damn simple but effective. A bunch of people get free tickets to a movie screening at this creepy old theater. Sounds like a fun night out, right? Well, it all goes straight to hell when you realize the film they're watching is about a demonic curse. And surprise, surprise. The curse starts coming to life in the theater. Soon people are turning into demons and it's a full on bloodbath and no escape. It's like watching horror come to life in the worst possible way. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Heavy shit. Why is Demons a hidden gem? Well, first off, this film doesn't waste any time. It's balls to the wall horror from the moment things start going wrong. The practical effects are gnarly, gory, and honestly, still hold up today. We're talking oozing, transforming, and plenty of ripping and tearing. And let's be honest, there's something satisfying about a movie that just lets demons go apeshit in a confined space. It's brutal, it's chaotic, and it's a total blast. But here's where Demon shines. It's a mix of gore, rock music, and that surreal nightmare-like atmosphere. You got a killer soundtrack blasting everything from heavy metal to synth as the demons claw their way through people's flesh. It's like a headbanger's dream turned into a horror show. Plus, there's this awesome sense of claustrophobia. Once you're in that theater, there's no way of getting out. The walls start closing in and you can just feel the panic. And we gotta give props to the makeup and special effects team because they go all out. The transformations are nasty and the demons themselves are creepy as hell. There's no CGI here, just good old fashioned practical effects that make everything feel gritty and real. You can practically smell the blood. Demons is a hidden gem because it's over the top and it doesn't really give a fuck. It's got that classic 80s horror vibe with the right mix of cheese and terror, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. It knows what it is, a chaotic, gory thrill ride, and it leads to that hard. Plus, if you're a fan of Argentino's style, you'll catch some of that signature flair all over this movie. If you want a horror film that's fast, brutal, and just fucking fun, Demons is it. It's a perfect example of why 80s horror will never die. So grab some popcorn, turn up the volume, and get ready for a nightmarish ride. I was in that shit, man. I never had no dope like that before in my life, man. That's the heaviest shit I ever smoked, man. I mean, I smoked a lot of shit before, man. But goddamn, man, that's heavy shit. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.